Hello fellow agents, I am Agent 38 and this is the second episode of Mission Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. Our mission today, if we choose to accept it, is to complete this uh, mission right here, which is shipwrecks at 100%. Uh, should get us a good bit further. Right now we are on, see if it says it somewhere. Uh, doesn't say it anywhere. Convenient to get to, oh well. Uh, we're at about 10% of the game done. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go through here. Um, that's Rex the Platypus right there. Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef, full of beautiful fish, friendly natives, and inviting sandy beaches. It's a beaut spot for a swim, if you know how. Alrighty, so we are going to go around here real quick, uh, and we're going to get that. I just happen to know where that one is, and that one as well. They're in pretty obvious places. Not too bad, not too bad. Can't go behind this house. Uh, we're just going to kind of ignore what we're supposed to do for just a second so we can get all these opals and all the goodies over here so this is one of the harder missions to actually get a hundred percent on uh, just because it's it's like a maze, a super long maze at that. Um, so that should be all the goodies. Can't swim yet. Still. <laughs> Get us opals here. And we're going to walk up. And Rex is going to talk to us. He's just telling us how to swim. Um... So we can get. Oop. Good one. There we go. Now we have the aqua rings, so we can use them underwater. Alrighty, and we're not supposed to know how to dive yet, but hey, look at that. We can dive. Actually, we're not even supposed to know how to swim fast, but you just press the button over and over again. Great work, ah. Ty. You've. And we're going to go through and get opals. Oh yeah, she's pretty annoying. So we'll, we'll just go through and do the main part first. And then we'll go back and do everything else. She's just saying there's eels, but if you literally just follow this thing, you won't even get anywhere near those eels. Alrighty, so yeah, there's some sharks. But if we just swim fast between these, we should be okay. Uh, where's that shark? I'm gonna let him pass. Go this way quickly, and then we're gonna go towards that one. Ah. Okay, and now I'm just kind of trying to wait for the sharks to pass. Um, not always easy to see where all of them are. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll go to that one next. Now nah, we'll go this one. We'll live dangerously. Alright, and swim fast. 
Oh, there wasn't even anything in here. Disappointing. Okay. Next, we'll go there. Hi, Ty. Nice, nice. That was close. Sharks don't even really hurt that much. Sharks don't care about her. They just swim right past her. Alright, and now we're going to go over here. And Alrighty. There's also a lot of random enemies in this one that you don't even like register as enemies until it's like, oh, they're hurting me. Make sure we get all the opals we see. Very important. And there we go, we're halfway done with the opals already. Not too bad. Alright, and there she is. This is the girl we were looking for. How are you? Yeah, Rex was super worried about her, but she was just hanging out up here the whole time. Fine. She's like, I could go back anytime I want. He needs to stop worrying about me. It's like, yeah, okay. Alright, and look at that view of the whole map. It's pretty nice. You can see where you turn in the opals down there. Um, you can also see that there's some other stuff that we just went right past. You almost wouldn't even notice it unless you knew to look for it. So we'll go back down here. Actually, on this side, I think there's some stuff we need to get. I think it's on this side. There's the save. I remember there being something on the... There it is. There'll be. Noise. Okay. So we're good on that direction. Now we're going to go over here to where the opal thing is so we can get... All this stuff over here. Mm -hmm. 
Easy peasy. Actually swim pretty fast. So we'll swim on over this way. We had to be underwater anyway for this. So. Probably should have did all that before I went up the mountain. Oh well. We'll go back up the mountain now. So we can just go back to the front a little bit faster. I think. Maybe. Might not be. And we're back to the front. And we have the time challenge. And she's sitting over here on a chair now. So, Ty, are you up for a race? See if you can keep up. So it's almost impossible to keep up with him underwater, but you make up for it in the end, because we're actually going to go all the way back to the end. Ty runs faster than he does, as you can see. So he definitely beats us in the water, but... The whole end part, we have to go all the way back up the mountain, so... Oop, I missed it. Man, and I was ahead too, underwater. Kinda hard to see these under here. Yes, I know, as a fun game, let's drown Ty. <laughs> but anyways, this part, yeah, as you can see, they kinda made it to where you pretty much just win. If you make it to this part. Rex is not a good runner at all. <laughs> he, uh, he, I guess he just spends most of the time swimming. I mean, I would if I lived here. It'd be pretty nice. Alrighty. Almost there. I think just a couple more turns. It doesn't even let you move the camera at this part. Like, you literally just hold it forward. And finish line. You little ripper, you fair ink and beat me. I've trained you well, mate. My uh, swimming coach gave this to me when I first beat him in a race. Now I want you to have it. Gee, thanks, mate. Cool! Kind of skipping some of the good parts, so maybe I should stop skipping stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll stop skipping as much. Videos might be a little longer, but maybe I can speed some parts up. Alright, so we're just going to go completely the other way. And we're going to knock these guys out. And these two... Hopefully a lot of those will explode. Stay away from the big fish guys, oh, they'll swallow you. Me. My sweet little angels have wandered off exploring. Now I can't find them anywhere. 
Please, can you help me? Yeah, sure. If I have to. <laughs> Some reason when you find them, they're very loud. Uh, they're not super far from them usually when it's these. It's always eight. I don't know why it's always eight. Half of them. Okay. The great thing about being underwater, though, is yeah, you just come back up for air and uh, you can breathe. And then you're back at full health. Kind of cheaty. I don't know. Aiming doesn't always want to work. Ooh. Two more. Okay, I always kind of not get lost, but at this point when there's so few left, it's like, okay, which way did I go? Did I go that way? Ah. There's one. I already got this one. So we just need one more. It always seems like the last one is hard to find. Somewhere around here. I don't think he's in here. Yeah. That, that's the mama. No, no, it's Thank the you. baby. There we go. There's Ollie. <sighs> My babies. My precious babies. Thank you so much, little orange fish creature. How can I ever repay you? Hey, I know. You can have this sparkly rock I found in the sand. All right. You ripper. <laughs> I can't do an Australian accent. But that's not going to stop me. I guess I want to go this one. I don't think I really need to. There's two of five there. Um, that's where we start. So we're still pretty close to the start. That's good. I think there's another bilby over there. Need to make our way over there. Not a baby, I was mistaken. Some of the lizard guys and some opals still need them. Okay, that should be it for that.
Oh, my. There we go. I feel like I unnecessary. Like, I shouldn't have to glide. Or I don't... Well, I don't have to glide. I glide way more than I really need to. Um, because it's fun? I don't know. This picnic basket sometimes get extra lives out of picnic baskets. I could make some things easier. Not always though. Okay. There's some more of the uh, jumping benches. Uh, chairs. Planners. I don't know what it's called really. All right, and we're at 200. So just 100 more opals to go. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, not really a whole lot this way. Ah. Not crazy there. All right. there were two. I guess there was just one. Okay, well we'll go get this over here. Magnets definitely make it easier. Golden top. Just need four more of those. Not bad, not bad. Let's head over this way. I don't remember if there's anything over this way. Yeah, they make you spend most of your time under the water, and then a lot of the stuff is actually up on these little islands. Okay, so I think. Everything else. I think it's all. No, we got. Well. Yeah. Okay. So most of it is over in the. Uh, in this top area we haven't been to yet. There's just the last. Uh, opal thing at the very end. And then the bilbies. Uh, plus the other stuff that's over here. So the way we get this is we're going to go through this little hole here. I think there's a couple different ones, actually. I don't see anything, really. I don't remember there being anything else. Do you know that there's just, like, random holes in it that has stuff? Uh, that's the entrance. <laughs> Gotta bite them on the bottom. Here's a bilby. Okay, I can actually. Nope. Skip all that hassle. And I don't know if you can see, but on here, this level is kind of easy to see these things. If you can aim properly, that is. So I think we'll do the floating one next. I think that makes the most sense. Uh oh, 
here we go. Sprays us up and we land on the thing. And it hurts, but that's okay, I guess. Is that just like not loading over there? I feel like there's stuff over there. This is just too far to load again. This is kind of the only way to collect all these. I'm gonna spin around. Then we can go down that way. There we go. This one you definitely need to glide on. So I think if you look down there, you can see that there's like a hole. Um, I think there's another hole somewhere else uh, you can go into. And it has... I think they both have some stuff in them. All of them? I don't know. Let's see, Let's see what's up. I think this might go back out. Yeah, I think this just leads out of there. So not that one. There's two entrances. Okay. Here we go. Uh, there's just an extra life in this one, which is not bad. Uh, that's the entrance slash exit. Where is it? Is this it? No, I think this is where we came in at. Isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. I feel like I'm finding extra lives where I would usually find golden cogs. I don't know, I could be wrong. This is quicksand, by the way. Okay. So I guess not all of the dark places quicksand. Only most of it. Okay, and we're fine. There's always these kind of like hidden bases, I think, in each level. I guess that's the best way to put it. The hidden base. Alright. So I always for a long time I would just swim across this play this part. I didn't realize that you could the there was these coconuts all the way across. Ah, more sensitive than Ooh, I would like. And you just gotta wiggle your thumbstick when you get too low. I can actually make it over here to the edge. And yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Okay. And coconuts. Jump on the coconut. Maybe that's better. Coconut. Jump on the coconut. Coconut. Jump on the coconut. Coconut. Jump on the coconut. Coconut. 
Yay. Not bad. I'm still missing a couple. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, <laughs> it's over that, that, that way. Missing something here. Don't quite remember this part. Ooh, that was a mistake. Hmm. Yeah, I always get stuck on this part. This this mission is the hardest one to like see stuff because yeah. There's something under here, somewhere, that I'm missing. It's just stinking impossible to see with the reflection of the water. I can go that way somewhere. Was it over here? No, it's not. Maybe you can go in further somewhere. There's a whole other area back that way. I just don't remember how to get there. Maybe it's maybe it's it's the way we went earlier. Yeah, that's what it is. So we're not out. We're just in. Yeah, we're in a new area. Here we go. So this one, there's like quartz. Right, like holes you gotta shoot in. Thank Barracuda. Okay, here we go. Let's see in there. Yeah, there it is. But opens that door over there. There. And then I think you can go right in. Yep. There's that one. forget these because then I'll have to run over the entire map looking for them for the last four just sitting there that'd be super annoying there's some more over there here's 15 Just need two more of those. And go up this way. Don't quite remember what's up this way, but there's a bilby over here. One more of those, right? Yep. One more. We need two more golden cogs. And I think this one is at the very top. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, I don't think there's any point to this. Unless there's like a hidden chest. Can't really see one. 
This map is so open that you can, like, see stuff uh, rendering in the background. Piece of pie. Oh, that's probably what it's for. Yeah, from this angle over here, you can see that. Get it in a second. Make sure we get all of these. There we go. There's all 300. Out of those. This way. Yay. Now where's this last bilby? Because that's all we need, right? Oh, we need golden cogs too. Um. Hmm. Where is the last bilby? Can I see anything good from up here? Anything better than I could? Not on that side. It has to be on this side. There's like a little divot in the water. I think it's right there towards the edge. I think I see it. Or did I go there? I might have gone in that one already. Either way, we'll check it out. I think I went in here already. Okay, I think it is... Where are the big eels? Not that way. Oop. There he is. Or she. Okay, so we just need... Two golden cogs. Um, that's why we always bite um, picnic baskets. Because they can have goodies. Get away from these big fishes. Like, that wasn't very helpful, but better than nothing. Let's, let's see if we can start from the beginning and what we can find. So we got those two golden cogs. I know it was somewhere you could, like, go down. Oh, oh, hey, there's one. Oh, oh, go on, go down. All right, so we just need one more. I think I got one over there. If I remember correctly. Hmm. Yeah, this is the frustrating part about this game. 
trying to find everything. It's fun. But then sometimes it can be frustrating. Let's see. Where is it? I still feel like there should be another hole around here somewhere. Like that one. There we go. And that is all of those. And we just need to go turn in the opals. And that should be it. I believe. Yeah, other than the paintings. But I'm not too worried about the paintings. All right, let's go that way. I don't know if the, maybe the beginning is closer. Beginning's probably closer. Ah! Yeah, that's, that's what the big fish do. They eat you, then they spit you out. And it doesn't hurt you any. But it's annoying. <laughs> it's a minor inconvenience. We're going this way. Sounds right. Yeah. And shortcut. Mushrooms are over there. There they are. And Ty trips on mushrooms, and then he magically appears at the end. Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. It was only a little bit of life. It wasn't a lot. There we go. So that is 100% on that, other than the, the uh, pictures. What I'll do is eventually, the, at the end, there's a... Uh, or not at the end necessarily, but later on there's a boomerang called the Infrarang that allows you to see those uh, when you use this view. And I'll, I'll just go around back to them and we'll get all the ones we missed. I think it also makes a beeping sound when you get close to them. Which is neat. I mean, I'll go ahead and get the ones that I see, that I like, obviously see. That way we don't have to take too much time doing it. Might eventually make a uh, kind of guide video on how to get all of them. Maybe not. I don't know. All right. And we can go ahead and get out of here. Okie doke. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, it takes a little while to get everything in these. Um, I'm not sure, but... Okay, yeah. So you have to do all three. You have to go into all three to actually yes. be able to get them out. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. But then you're, you're, you have extras at the end of each one. We're going to have nine extra and then just helps us get more boomerangs we could probably go get some yeah, let, let's do that then we'll end the episode that way we're gonna go see if we can get some uh golden cog ones the multi-ring is nice um i think that's the first one you get i don't know if we've been down this way yet
but this is uh, Julius's lab right here. As you can see, we need one more thunder egg, just like the other thing, uh, so that we can get uh, the next one, which is going to be the flamer egg. But we can get, oh, uh, the first one is the zoomer Oh egg. my, you found enough golden cogs, haven't you? These will be perfect for my latest invention. I call it the Cogulacious Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Ty, it's a machine I designed to create cutting edge techno rangs. Oh my, this is very nice. It's a Zoomerang. The Zoomerang has a built-in telescopic aimer. Press the TIE's view button to activate it. Use the movement stick to aim and the camera stick to zoom in and out on enemies for greater throwing accuracy. No worries. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. Noise. So technically after one more we could get um another boomerang. So like after the third one. I guess it takes twenty to do that. Haven't I told you? I don't know. Um but yeah, so we can zoom in now and the boomerang will go all the way over there. See if we can hit that tree. Uh no, I don't it's not something that can really be hit, so but it goes pretty far. Let's see what happens. It goes way over there. Hit the cliff on that side. So pretty crazy. All right. Well, I guess back to the ending. Um, please like it. I think I'll leave. <laughs> I was going to stop again. And then I decided not to. Uh, yeah. So these, I think I'll leave. And then at the end, I'll just go over where all of them are. Once I can get all of them. Because you need different boomerangs to do that. Um, but yeah. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, every little thing helps. Um, I'd like to do this full time eventually. Um, not really possible right now because I have to get money <laughs> at my job. Uh, but yeah, if I could get ads and stuff on there, then I'll slowly be able to... Um, make more and more content probably better content because uh, i don't have a ton of time to mess with settings or anything just trying to get stuff out but yeah so uh next time we'll do that third mission in the bly bly station over there uh and yeah that'll be fun so we'll see you next time Bye bye <laughs>